Is regular being back in style? Yes. Because, you know, like, the thing throughout forever, it seems like it's always been about, you know, clout, visibility, cars, clothes, or whatever. And I'm wondering, because I have a theory, but I want to get y'all perspective first. Is being regular the new play? Or is it still like, you know, you still got to have some some clout. You still got to be the man. What do y'all think that is? What is that like? What do y'all what do y'all see about that? Uh, ahead, I think Sam. it's still I think it's still like people that want to be regular. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. Like, I I know that it's still clout chasers. It's still a lot. You know, it's still people like this. Is the day and age of going viral. Like that's what this really is. So it's it's a lot of people. They want it. They want that moment, and they doing shit to try and get there. But it's a lot of people that really they just don't like that stuff. You know, the average person they mm-hmm. don't care about going viral. They don't they don't care about that shit. They just they look at it in a, in a way like you seeking too much attention. You know, you attention star. Yeah. Because you know, mm-hmm. it's still people that they they just they just want to live their life low key. They don't really care about what other people think. They don't care about what other people got going on. You Are they I mean? like that? And then remember, I want to. I know that it's people like that in general. They just not, you know, about that. Um, if I could get all of the money and not have no none of the visibility, I would be okay with that. Mm. Like if mm. I could, if I could disappear, but get just and have just as much of an impact. If I could play the background. Because it's it's two things, right? Number one, the visibility comes with the profits. This is the way that it is. You know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But on the flip side of that, though, is um, if I could have the same impact, because I still want to change lives. I still want to help people. I still want to change and trans- transform industries. I want to influence people in a positive way and all of that, right? If I could have the same impact, without the visibility and money without the invisibility, I would disappear. Like if somehow I can influence people to still do it or have somebody else as a prop and still have that same level of visibility or whatever like that, if I could still have that impact, I would do it. I would completely remove myself. But I think that part of the reason that people, because people are still going viral, but for being normal. Like, people are going viral for talking about, yeah, man, my car is, I'm broke, or, you know, it's hard out here. Like, their videos are just as likely to go viral as you going to buy something new or something, you know what I'm saying? Something like that, right? Yeah, so that's true. Is it is it people's tastes are changing because ain't nobody got no money no more? <laughs> and it's towards the end of the year, right? So tax money is not out, you know what I'm saying? PPP loans ain't shit coming through. I know we're scamming his life. I think that a lot of people is just tapped out. I think a lot of people broke. And I think that that's why being normal is in. But people was yeah. for a long time. When I was saying like, yeah, man, I, I'm about to go, you know, I got an offer and I'm about to take another job, a regular job. Man, people were, <laughs> I feel like, a, I feel like, the you know, I feel like the person that always gets to the party too early that I know that the party is going to be popping. Because it's like, people will come at you and they will negatively like, oh, I can't believe you got a regular job. That's corny and all that. It's like, now everybody like, man, I wish I could get the right position. I'm just lit. I don't know what the, I don't know what the vibes are now. I don't know what the, what the play is no more. I feel like I'd be too early. Like I, I need to wait before I make my announcements on what it is that I, I, I got going on. So, I think people I think people have always been broke. Um I just think the last I want to say the last decade kind of like 2015 to 20 yeah to now. <laughs> uh-huh. Um I think it's just been a lot of you know cuz the explosion of Instagram I just think it's been a lot of fluff. So a lot of people pretend like they had it. So all everybody was trying to stunt. All the girls were overly made up. You know, with the overly contours, the BB, the BBLs, all this stuff. So it kind of overshadowed everybody that was still normal, quote unquote. And now those people can't go, can't even go back because now it seems 
if you go back, now it's like, oh, you must be falling off. Versus if you would have just stayed that way, stayed normal, you can kind of hide in that in between. And it, you'll never see, you'll never see like somebody like, okay, so Jay-Z went on a walk. He went on a walk and everybody was like, why does Jay-Z walk, have a walking club or in a walking club? And it's kind of like what you said. If you could be, if you could have the impact without being visible, all those guys that Jay-Z was walking with, people wouldn't look them up. They're all way richer than Jay-Z. Mm. So he's in a walking club full of, I guess, multi-billionaires. You guys can't hear me? Hold on. No, I heard you loud and clear. So he's in a yeah, so he's in a walking club full of multi billionaires. So it's like so it's like Are we here? You can definitely do that. Yeah. Um I don't know what the you know what it seems like? All right, so let me ask y'all another question. So being normal is in. Is it in amongst women for men though? So are women still checking for normal guys? No, no, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Fuck no. Okay, so if women not checking for normal guys, are women still the tastemakers? Uh I think it's to the point where now people just don't give a fuck. Like like though the women that are that don't want the normal guys, I think people just don't give a fuck about what they think. You know what I'm saying? People still gonna do what they do to enjoy this life. Because mm -hmm. now people they, they they don't care anymore, man. It's just like, damn. Well, we once we reach a certain level, it's still people just gonna keep raising the bar. It's just gonna keep raising. The, it's just, it's gonna start getting too astronomical for some. For, well, it's it's became too astronomical for some folks, and now they don't give a fuck. They just like, well, damn, I got this motherfucking car, and don't nobody care because somebody got this one over here. People, they, they don't care no more. This is like, fuck it, man. Like, <laughs> y'all gonna keep raising the bar. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm gonna keep doing me. I'm gonna just be normal. You know That's what I see, though? You know what I see from women nowadays? And I, and guys in the chat, Slimmy, y'all tell me what y'all think. <laughs> I You know what I'm starting to see more of? And, and I'm starting to see women approach me more or men. I don't know about other guys. I get approached by women a lot. Oh yeah, but I, I, I okay. Let me let me say this too. Look at Rita; she all on my grill right now. Uh, <laughs> she like what? <laughs> what? She ain't playing. I want to say what? She ain't playing. Yeah, she over there. Say it again, Rita. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> she know what's up, but I but I also would attribute a lot of that. I would personally also attribute a lot of that probably to my visibility. You know what I'm saying? So I know I know also what comes with that, especially being in the city. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man in my city. And so any to, anywhere I go, I know that it just comes with the visibility too. So I, I will attribute it a lot to that. But I do see women shooting their shot. I see women shooting their shot all day. Like not just with me. Women will go up to guys at the bar or they will go up to guys or whatever. They don't think that they would like Women have no problem going to shoot their shot. Now, most yeah. women that that is like fuck it, I'm not waiting on shit to happen to me. They they don't have no problem with going up to guys and shooting their shot. Yeah, uh, now that's one thing that I've noticed is has become very much the the masculinity in that area has has definitely gone up over the years, and I think it's because I don't know what I don't know why that's happening. Well, why women are starting to shoot their shot more? Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. I don't, I don't know if it's they being impatient they're or they're desperate. You think it's desperation, uh, Mika? Yeah, yeah, and it's not a bad thing. It's just what it is. Right? What, do, what do you the mean? Thing by about it is how do you they're feel? desperate, huh? How do you? What do you mean? <laughs> it's just cold blooded. They're <laughs> they're desperate because okay, they're desperate because. Other women have made it hard for men to pick up choosing signals. 
So where you could just drop a handkerchief before, men are looking at that like, I don't, I don't know, because if I pick it up, then she's going to tell me I can do it. I can do it for myself. I don't know. Mm. I don't know, blah, 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 blah. She's, she's going to scream. She's going to say, I'm, I'm doing cat calls. So it's hard for men to pick that up. So a lot of them have stopped and women have noticed it. So they're course correcting because otherwise they're just going to continue to be alone. Okay. All right. All right. So let's mine this out. All right. Let's mine this out. So our, cause they not going for, for all guys, I'm assuming, right? They only go for the guys that they really, really want. Right. Or are they doing it with all guys? They're doing it to the guys they want to talk to. So it's still the same thing then. Because it's the guys with clout, it's the guys with money, it's the guys with visibility. Those are the ones that the women are going for, right? Uh, no. So, so I think they, yes I, no. Yes no. I think, I so, think they're doing that on all levels. So oh, you think they, they do, do go for them. Yeah, I, I know they, matter of fact, I know they're doing that on all levels. You go to a bar, it's women, they shoot and they shot. Like I was at a, I was at a sports bar around the corner. And it was a couple women in there that was shooting their shot. I'm glad they wasn't shooting their shot at me because they was unacceptable. But you know. <laughs> they saw you not buying yeah. no drink. That's why. I think and that. They know, nope. they, they know. Right, Mika. I don't drink no more. I ain't buying you no drink. I am I listening. Randy, Randy, what am I not listening to? What am I listening? I'm listening. I'm asking questions. Okay, so, all right. Because I'm still confused. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am. I'm confused. I, I kind of think it's a combination of two things because y'all also got to understand that men prefer for women to shoot their shot because it takes the guess and work out of it. It takes the rejection out of it. The problem with a lot of times is that women don't like being rejected because they're not used to it. So when it gets to the point to where they feel like, all right, I'm about to start shooting my shot. It only take a couple fucking rejections for them to just jump out the window and be like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm not doing it no more. I'm about to go eat some pussy. So, and I'm being sarcastic, but <laughs> seriously, women have a hard time being rejected. If you don't let a woman down very gently, she will be broken like nothing ever before. All right. Women have a hard time getting rejected, but men prefer mm -hmm. women to take shots. And I'll also say this, Amika, I think that men are more willing to lower their standards for the woman that shoot they shot. I think lower so. Their, lower their standards, meaning what? Meaning they, they, will, wanna, they will be more so. open to talk to a woman that may not have met whatever their preferences are mm -hmm. because she's more aggressive in her affinity for him or her approach towards him because guys like to be you know exalted and put like on to be needed. yeah so i think that a woman that is a lot more that shoot they shot has a better chance with a guy that wouldn't normally go for her Okay. Y'all looking confused now. Okay, I see y'all. No, 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 no. Because I'm trying to think a guy about this. That wouldn't like, normally go for her. So that that implies that the woman is what not as attractive. I mean, I don't. It could be a lot of things. It why a guy wouldn't talk to a particular woman don't even have always to do with whether or not she's attractive or not. You could be attractive as hell, but you could just be ratchet. You could be for the streets. You could be a lot of different right. things. You know what I'm saying? So where they would slot you. If, if you're doing something initially, though, it's for men, right? It's attraction, correct? No, I think it, I think that that depends on how old you are and how mature you are. So if so, if you run into somebody, let's just say at a gas station, you're only looking at what they look like. I don't, like. I don't. I'm just giving an example. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, just, just, I'm just giving. I'm an not. Example. I'm the person that's at the gas station that's tr that's looking around to make sure ain't nobody trying to do nothing to me at the but gas. But you know, like when you go on the inside, like here we got these things called dash dash uh, dash ends. Mm -hmm. So they're like they're actually like. Um, 
like convenience stores. So people actually go in there like a wild wild, something like that. Y- yeah, something like a Bucky's, a Bucky's. Yeah. So that's why that's why I say the gas station a lot because they're like stores down here. So I'm I'm on some. If you yeah. ever catch me at the gas station, I'm dap. I'm gone. Yeah, I don't even like. Play. I don't even like to fill up my own cars. I don't even like. Okay, to, if you were at you Walmart, play around. if you were at Walmart, the person is not talking to you. Or the I woman don't is not remember the last time I've been to Walmart. I ain't gonna. Front. You know what? If you were at Gucci <laughs> and she's window shopping. If I'm at who? Okay. If she's at Gucci and she's window shopping, and you're actually going there. No, no, I don't think right? Gucci because y'all you trying to make it seem like I'm bougie. I'm not bougie. I'm a regular motherfucking guy. Like I do regular people stuff, right? Um. But I just be, I be, wherever I go, I just be in and out. I be focused on what I'm focused on. I ain't really on that. I do go out to like, you know, I go out and hang and I chill and stuff like that. So if, if I'm walking around downtown, okay. So if I'm walking around downtown and go ahead, Mika. I'm listening. Go ahead. I didn't say nothing. No, what was your question? So I'm walking around downtown and what? Oh, so if you're walking around downtown and someone, you see some, you see someone. But they're not talking. Is the attraction for men initially just by the look? I don't. It's hard. You got to ask Slimmy because I don't. I don't really pay attention to people like that. I, I'm. I'm aware. I'm situationally aware. Usually, because it's different for me. I'm a very, very, very outwardly social person. Um. So you know, you didn't. You didn't hung out with me a lot of times, and so I just speak to everybody. I show love. I get dab. Usually, it's somebody. Oh, Anton, what up? And I go talk to my homeboy or yeah. something like that. So my interaction with people, I don't pay attention to looks of women like that. I just like to go out and have fun with everybody. So I don't really care what you look like. If you a good person and you got good energy, we partying. I'll buy drinks for everybody. I'm going to have some fun. I like to hug. I, that's just the type of energy that I'm on. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know that because I don't really look at life through that lens. You know what I'm saying? I don't look at a woman and be like, damn. Just, like, I do it on for the newscasters on a Millionaire Morning Show because it's just something fun to do. But as far as, like, in real life, I don't pay people attention based off of what they look like. I care about energy. I care about effort. And I care about just good vibes. So I can have a conversation with anybody. I don't really know what that looks like. You know what I'm saying? I just like having fun. So maybe I think Slimmy could probably have a a different perspective because very rarely do I ever in real life look at a woman and be like, oh man, she's so bad. Like I don't. Well, in in the words of in the words of Tondo, um, do you think you're out of touch? No, I think I'm most. I think I'm the most in touch. No, meaning like that most people like it's not. You remember what you you remember when you said to me you said um we were talking about when when I when I first did the interview with you and I was talking about how certain guys don't talk to me uh-huh. because they perceive one thing yeah, yeah, yeah and so do you think because you're in a different space as far as like um you know with where you're at in life and money and things like that. I don't, do I don't, think I don't that, like, that, I'm not like that. That in real. takes that away. Mm-mm. Cause I, you like know, me. like I don't, having a- I don't wear big chains. I'm usually, I don't really drive my car that much. I'm usually walking. Um, I catch public transportation. I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? I do that on a regular basis. I live, work and play pretty much all in the same area. Um, right. But what I'm saying is by you having the visibility, right? you let's just say if you if you weren't if you weren't married right you have the visibility and Mm -hmm. by you having the visibility you don't have to actually reach out to to women and try to actually talk Mm -hmm. because it's it's been this way my it's been this way my whole life like i've always believed in just being cool and social and you just being a person with you know what I'm saying? I'm not the hold the wall type of person. I'm I'm the person that come up and say, what's going on? What is y'all looking at over there? You know what I'm saying? I, I always initiate good conversations. So I don't think that the visibility makes a difference. I've never been treated any different before the visibility or after the visibility. I've always been treated the same way. 
And it's just because I'm in the same space. I still act the same way. I ain't Hollywood. Anybody that's ever met me in person know that I don't be talking on money and shit. I don't even, I ain't even on that. You know, I ain't on no money. I don't, I don't even, I don't present myself personality wise as a person that even has money in real life. I wear these t-shirts. I wear black t-shirts, Levi jeans. You can't see my belt. Usually I have on mm-hmm. my the, the biggest clue maybe be maybe my watch. If I don't have on an Apple Watch, but most of the time I just got on an Omega. Most people don't even know what this is. So this just look like a, it's a got the rubber band. Don't nobody know what an Omega is. Every once in a while I break out a Rolex or something. And I you know, I'm chilling and I'm having fun. So I don't in person, I don't present myself as the type of person that have money. Anybody you've hung out with me, Mika, anybody that know me knows I'm just chilling. I'm having a good time. I'm having conversations with people. I ain't known that. Right. I, you're you're not, but I'm just saying you have you have the visibility. Correct. Right. Versus uh a guy that I wouldn't I wouldn't know at all from a can of paint. Like he has to like introduce himself versus if I live in Detroit, I know who Anton is is if i run into him correct i understand that look like it's the guy that's saying i don't even i don't take public transport i'm the person that take more public transportation than people that got money middle class people are the ones that drive everywhere i know every street i walk everywhere i i shop at all the local businesses not just gucci that's just the thing that y'all see me in the most i wear regular t-shirts and i'm chilling i'm not people have the I could tell who's never met me before, who's never came up to the yeah. meeting, ever. I am so chill. I am so regular. And people be surprised because I don't be on that. I will sit there and talk to you for the next 30 minutes if I ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? If I got the time. And they'd be like, yeah. man, you, they'd be like, man, you chilled in the mug. Like, yeah, we all just regular people. Yeah. I am very much in touch with what's happening in the streets. Um, I know the pulse of the people. I know what's happening. And so I think that I believe that most people are in the house overwhelmingly. I think most people go to work and go home if they're not working from home. Um, they in a little circle. They in it. The only thing that they know is what's happening on social media. They don't know what women is about. They don't know what men are about. They don't know what's happening in their own cities. Most people are not tourists in their own cities. They can't navigate without going to Apple Maps or Google Maps or Waze. I, I am very much in touch with what's happening in, in the Pulse. I run into some of the same people that meet me on the streets all the time. Hey, man, why you ain't wear that shirt that I gave you? I, guy walked up to me today, honest to God. He said, man, my wife says she be seeing you all the time. And she hates seeing you on the screen, but she loves seeing you walking down the street vlogging and stuff. I take some of the same routes. I'm not hard to find. I'm the most accessible. If you want to get in contact with me, it's really not hard to do so. A lot of people got my real phone number. So I don't know what people are talking about. Like, I am very much, I interact with the chat. I acknowledge every yeah. super chat. I know most of the people that join into my chats live. Like, how, how am I out of touch? How am I so? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how you yeah. got to remember. You got to remember it all. Like, hmm. it's, it's still a show to people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it's still a show to people. And they don't realize, they don't realize, like, Sometimes when they see people on, no matter what, if it's on TV, if it's on YouTube, cable, whatever, they still don't realize this is still a, a human being. Yes, yeah, I'm just a normal person. They, they, don't, they, 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 they think like everything is just like larger than life. When in, in, in fact, you're a very down to earth person. You know what I'm saying? They just, they take the talking points like, uh, and then all the stuff that people, all the videos people make of you. And a lot of people, I think they really look into that shit as that's who you are. This yeah. is a moment, this is a moment, a small moment in someone's life when they, when everything might be exaggerated. You know what I'm saying? That everything yeah. you say might be exaggerated. And people take that microcosm of a moment and they want to make it like this is all of you. And it don't work like that. People yeah. just don't understand that. You know what I, I'm saying? And I, it's hard for people to grasp. I think that most, I think that um, normal is kind of the new wave, but I agree with Mika in that 
Um, no matter what you say or no matter what you do, people want, they want that to visit. You know what I'm saying? They want to be with somebody yeah. out of the cloud. They want money. You know what I'm saying? And I think that no matter how they want to frame it, money is always going to be the wave. Even though yeah. normal, normal is kind of a thing now. Like trying to be normal is just a thing. And they're yeah, spending man, money I, to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's why people pay for them, uh, them, uh, <laughs> them blue checks. Or <laughs> 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 well, no, I think that the blue well, check. No, that, that, that's, that, the people that do, that's actually a good investment. If, if you it is. Well, it is. It is. Stuff. But, but but it was people that before they did that, you know, people was paying for that before that. But I yeah, did. people was paying before. Yeah, people but was paying. You got to get verified. If you are a person that, uh, my homegirl, she's pretty significant. And somebody had made a fake ID and blue checked, blue checked them, blue checked themselves as her and stole her. Mm. Now they was able to remove any other account that pro that projected themselves to be her. Yes. Damn, that's right. You are a creator or a content creator of any way, any way, shape, or form. It's a, it's a, um, that's a, a, I don't know what the word, I don't want to say safety issue. That's a, a, you know, you don't want nobody stealing your identity through yeah. being able to do that. That is a thing. So if you are a person that's a content creator, you need to blue check yourself, whatever you're going to do. Blue yeah. Check. Yeah, and, and oh, okay. if you're if you're trying to have like a business or any in, of yeah. any kind, right? That it is a good um, it is a good tool to have. So the the people that that pay for it for that reason, that yeah. that is a good thing, especially when you're trying to build a brand. But if you just you don't have nothing going on, you just want to check. I mean, yeah, and also like for example, for me, it's a lot of people that make fake accounts of me and stuff like that, right? Oh, oh, yeah, like you know. Yeah, you know that it's really me. I had really that on a couple of times. I said, yeah, it's you don't know if it's really me because all of my stuff is verified. I'm verified on on uh, X. I'm verified on Instagram. So if anybody try to contact you, you know it's not me because I'm verified. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of other things that go into it that would, you know, if you're a business person or, or somebody that's serious about a brand, mm -hmm. why you would want to verify yourself. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Every everybody's regular though. If you if you ask me, er, er, most people are, we are regular. I agree. You said what? I Rita? agree. Oh, here we go. What'd she say? What'd she say? She ain't saying nothing. <laughs> she said I'm not regular. Oh, I'm talking, I'm talking. How, how am I not regular? You're not regular. How? Because regular people have to budget. Regular people have to, can just get up and they they work a typical nine to five. They can't just go out and buy what they want when they want to buy it. Nobody is recognizing them when they walk down the street. They don't have to have security. Like it's nothing regular about you. We still just reg we still just people though. We bleed. We got to put our our pants on okay. one leg at a time. So that makes you human. It doesn't make you regular. <laughs> <laughs> she don't know. She don't know no better. Well, see, one thing about me is Anton don't argue with people in real life. <laughs> <laughs> still not know better. You don't, know. don't even know how much groceries cost. Like, how don't I know how much groceries cost? It depends you know, on what store. Grocery store. When last time you been to the grocery store? I go to the market. When last time you been? I go almost every day. To what market? The one downtown. The one that that I stop at before I stop at my. I don't want to say buy, which you one. You don't it buy is. groceries from there. I buy what I need. Which is not groceries. But that's the thing. I don't think that if you look at back in the day, people didn't buy groceries they didn't buy a whole thing to last them a whole week they bought what they needed for the day they bought whatever it was that they was going to eat for the day okay, so how much is milk? it depends are you getting almond milk are you getting organic milk are you getting regular milk sometimes it could be about five six dollars no acknowledge that i'm right i am right 
And the eggs is the same way. It depends. Because I get the cage-free organic eggs. And, and, and more importantly, I get my stuff Instacarted. Exactly. Now, I do that. I Instacart like I don't know what. So you don't look at prices when you Instacart. You just put the stuff in the thing, right? No, I look for the uh, for the kind that I want. Exactly. But I get what I need for the day. Regular is what I'm people saying. have to budget when they go grocery shopping. I have budgets. <laughs> I have business budget. <laughs> <laughs> budgets. I mean, I they she be keep trying to make me out to be uh, out of touch. People want me to be out of touch so bad. I didn't say that you was out of touch. I never said that. I said that you're not regular. Two things can be true at once. <laughs> Yo. Well, do do Rita think she regular? She ain't regular neither. I never said I was. Oh, she, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. If you yeah. got on Van Cleef bracelets. Rolexes, diamond necklaces. <laughs> I didn't know you turned the camera around. She don't feel Rita. Rita think Rita is like a Kardashian, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, sir. She shop like a Kardashian. She live like a Kardashian. She she like in a movie, bro. Hey, Rita was in uh, what was that spot we was in? <laughs> she ain't think nobody know why. She was just looking at everything. She seen that camera. She was she ain't give a fuck. She was still shopping. She was going doing her thing. I don't know. I guess it. I guess because the way I grew up, either is huh? Mika is not regular either. Nope. <laughs> like I don't she know. Ain't. I don't now, Rita, you blowing my cover now. Now you're blowing yeah, my Mika cover. Ain't either. <laughs> Mika ain't the smallest person in the room. Stand out like she's ten feet. For real, everybody was running up on you as soon as we got to the spot. 